Hey guys, Kirk here and thank you for joining me on a new video. In this video, it's going to be a short one. I just want to set up a function uh, with slope detection uh, based off normals. Um, and what slope detection is going to do, it's going to try and reduce the amount of uh, this going up the side here. Uh, which is based off our flow map. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to work. I've built slope detection before and used it on automatic landscape materials, but using it on a material that is um, using masks from Gaia, um, I've never done that before. Uh, so we'll build the function up and see what we can do with it. Um, so we're going to come in the content draw here. We're going to right click, go to materials and material function. We we'll call this KM slope detection. Like so. Uh, essentially, you can use slope detections as masks as well, but I can portray that maybe later in the series. Uh, I forgot to mention this video is a part of a series that I'm doing, but it's just a shorter video, which I'm just trying to break up. Uh, into individual videos for people who don't want to know how to make a landscape with masks. It's just if they want to know how to make slope detection. Uh, so I've decided to break them off into little videos. Um, so we're going to start here. And we are, what should we start with? We'll start with a lerp. We do need a lerp. Um, we need to get our, how do we do this? We get now. Oh yeah, we get a three vector. Um, I'm going to set B to 1, so this is getting our Z axes now. We'll put that into the A slot. Um, what we need now to blend with is our normal input. So if I get an input function here now, uh, I'm going to change this. This is going to be normal input. All right, so. Um, I'm going to set this to 32. No, I'm going to leave it at zero. I want this right at the top, actually. Um, I do need to normal textures are a vector three. So I need to change this to a function input vector three. Um, and I want a scalar parameter. Um, slope. Uh, normal. Okay, yeah, that should do it because we're blending our normals with the axes. Yeah, so we'll do that. Um, I'm going to leave it at a default of zero. I'm going to give this uh, a group slope detection. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know if I'm spelling that right. Uh, I'm going to give that a one so it can be right at the top. Um, what I need to do now is transform the vector. Uh, uh, just use a transform uh, so we're going from tangent space to world space um, what do I need to do I need to normalize this actually uh, we'll normalize it um, but I need this um, mm, we'll use yeah dot product so we're going to use a dot product for this um, I'm going to throw this into the B actually and we'll throw that into the A and what I'm doing I'm just calculating my Z offset with uh, my world space normals um, so yeah we'll do that um, what else do I forget now that's been a while I need another lerp yeah Alert, we need to set the minimum max of our slope detection. Uh, so I'm going to do slope blend min. So uh, I'm going to set that as a default of minus four so I know it's below the landscape. And I'm going to duplicate this and set this to max. give that a default of two um, 
put them in there like so. Um, we'll set these both to that group, slot detection. This is one, this can be two, and this can be three. So, I'm, I'm missing something, I know I am. Um, oh, oh, need a bias, oh, what's it called? Bias. Constant bias scale, that's it. Um, this is a new node to the channel. A constant bias scale, especially that it takes an input value, adds a bias value. So basically what it's doing is just setting it to a 1, uh, between 0 and 1, with a scale of 0.5. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, it works. That's right. Now, I knew there was something wrong when I was over here. Um, and then we can use a contrast node. A cheap contrast. Uh, we'll fire this in. And we shall um, slope normal blend. Uh, slope normal blend. Contrast. So this just adds a little bit of extra blending in. I'm just going to set that to a default of 1 and put it in slope detection. Oh, it's already in there. Um, 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 do you know what? I'm not going to use a cheap contrast. What shall I use? Um, shall I? No. Sorry about that. I'm going to use a high loop. Uh, so you right click, type height load. This enables me to blend the normals dependent off height as well. Uh, so I'm going to put that into the height texture and this will go into the contrast. The alpha will go to the output. Right, so. Um, is that offset here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Top point. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so I'm going to apply that and I'm going to save it. I'm going to cross it off and I'm going to add it in. So at the minute it's like this. Yep. I just hope that height loop works with the masks. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm going to drag my slope detection in. Um, how am I going to put these together? Um, I'm going to use the standard, yeah. I'll go standard, uh, the material layer blend standard, right? So uh, the slope detection is going to be our alpha. Our base material is going to be no, our top material there. And our base is going to come straight from our slope main. Right, so um, now this needs an input. Which one? I'm just going to go straight from the top, as you've seen in the uh, previous video I did about building uh, layers, I always expose the normal, sometimes the height, but it's rare you use the height now in Unreal Engine 5. I'm just going to put that in the normal there. And then we're going to hit apply and save and fingers crossed this doesn't crash. It is not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open the material instance up. So. Slope detection, where are you? Oh, there we go. Slope detection here. Um, what this part is now is just about playing with these values to see. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit like this. So I can get a clear understanding of where this slope detection is going to start and finish. I want to be able to see all this and this up here. Possibly that up there. Um, slope base UVs, that's fine. Let's start back to the default. Um, normal blend, let's go one. Oh, minus one, minus two, minus three, one, zero, hmm, zero point five, hmm, zero point one. Uh, so the normal blend is quite powerful. Maybe I might change that for a power node. Uh, no, let's go to one again. I'm going to reduce this from point five, point one. Minus five, there you go. Minus one, 
that's fine. I'm seeing some changes down there. If you look in this area down here, right there. Oh gosh, no crazy. And look on these slopes here for some change. Right, so one. Oh yeah, minus four, minus five, minus one, minus zero point five. Oh gosh, minus one, zero, one. Do default on that. That's a zero and that's a one. Um, so obviously this normal blend and normal blend contrast isn't working properly. Uh, pro properly, sorry, with our uh, masks. Uh, so blend min so minus two. Oh yeah, minus one, minus four, minus five, one, two, three. Five minus one minus two. It's five. And that is working a little bit for our flow map. And that's our minimum though. You can see down here if I scale this up a bit, you can see the blend happening there in that little valley, if you like. Um, but for now I'm gonna leave that at default. Minus four. There's the height kicking in now. You can just reduce this down. As you can see, it is getting rid of them. It's detecting the slope, but it's on such a large scale. I reduce that a bit. Minus this out. There you go. Look. That's just a normal blend. It's just a blend of the normals. Um, it's quite nice. -ish. There you go. Look at that. Um, the slope detection. But it's too. It's not too bad. Um, I don't feel it's working particularly great for us. Um, maybe I could increase this a little bit. Um, not too bad. And it's just now, it's like, it's just about playing around with these numbers. We've got a bit of slope detection. And it's not just that as well. Maybe I could change this. Um, oh, there's another thing actually. If I can, I wonder if I can, um, I'm going to go to my slope main, I'm going to use a subtract node here, no no this is going out of the scope of this tutorial, um, but yeah that is basically how you make slope detection, um, it is working but it's not reacting like I thought it would with the uh, masks. Uh, but it's it will be useful if you're just creating a normal uh, blended uh, sloped uh, material for a landscape this will work very well for that uh, but with a mask because it's trying to reduce the normals of an entire mask over the landscape um, I just can't understand it very well um, but yeah that's basically how you create slope detection uh, it's very easy and simple. You can add it to most of your landscape materials. I hope this was helpful. If it was, then please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.